place you hear. Pokemon Go, Pokemon Go, Pokemon Go. That's all you've heard for the past week or so, and if you haven't played it, then you're more than likely not gonna understand why, but don't worry, I got you. What up, Internet? The Black Okage here, aka TBH, and to be honest, I, like many of you, didn't understand the hype train surrounding Pokemon Go. I had downloaded the game the night of its release, but only recently, the past few days, have I gotten more hands-on with it. And what I can say now is, I understand. Pokemon Go honestly isn't that great of a game gameplay wise. Hell, it's hardly a game period. But what it lacks in gameplay, it makes up for A, in social interaction, and B, exercise, and C, timing. Now let's talk the social interaction portion of the game first. Pokestops and gyms are landmarks in your neighborhood that the players are forced to walk to. When you get there, what you'll find is people with their phones out, and it's so obvious they playing Pokemon Go that it hurts. But what's cool is people are making new friends because of it. I personally have met a handful of people just playing the game, and everyone was friendly, and we all got to laugh out the situation. And this goes back to something that I mentioned in my live stream a week or so ago. One thing I took away from VidCon 2016 is I had forgotten how fun it is to game with people in person. It's just a different experience destroying a friend in Smash Bros and witnessing their salty reaction live. Pokemon Go isn't Smash Bros, obviously, but it does provide its own unique type of social interaction. Shit, you might find yourself a boo out there, and I've already heard stories, so don't tell me it can't happen. Now, let's talk the exercise portion of this shit, okay? The hardest part about fitness and exercising is just remaining motivated. This app has people motivated to get up off their ass and go outside and walk. And to some of you try-hard gym rats, that might sound funny, but to me, as long as someone is improving their health and they're enjoying themselves, then just shut the fuck up whether you're going on a brisk walk or a light jog the game makes it go by so much faster last night i was outside for most i was walking hills for like three hours and when i got home i was drenched in sweat and honestly i didn't care and why because it didn't feel like i was out there that long i had an objective and it was to catch them all and that's what i was focused on that and that only now as for the time and i think this game couldn't have come out at a better time if you live in america then you already know things are fucked up right now with these police shootings this crazy election the dallas shooting etc i think people were looking for something to uplift their spirits after these dark few weeks and sprinkling the fact that this game is free to play and you have a formula for success and like i said earlier gameplay wise i don't think this game is doing anything special but it makes up for it in other areas and that's what makes it so special and that's why pokemon go is so popular i understand hype beasts are annoying and there are some of them out there but i'm not gonna get upset at people finally getting them off the couch and doing something positive Give Nintendo and Niamic a fucking W, or however the hell you pronounce the studio. I think it's Niamic, whatever. We only do it one take. Block it! Speaking of positive, uh, I got some just suggestions on how to improve the game, but I feel like that should be its own video. Let me know if you guys in the comment section below want to know if you, uh, my top five ways you can improve Pokemon Go or whatever. I'm fucking up towards the end of this shit, but who cares? Since I'm rambling, um, make sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. It helped the channel grow. Um, thank you for watching, and uh, bye. My, my villains need me.